Hey all, welcome to Infobook Technologies YouTube channel. Today we are going to study about Android components. App can be written in Kotlin, Java, C++ languages. Android SDK, which is a software development kit tool. Compile your code along with any data and resource file into a .apk file. So what is .apk file? APK represents AMP application package kit. So we're going to study one by one with an example. First is activity. So activity is nothing but a single screen with the user interface, which interact with the user. For example, a camera app can start the activity in the email app that compose new mail to allow the user to share a picture. Let's get into the Android Studio. So before we get into Android Studio, guys must read this one. So activity has different life cycles like on create, on start, on resume, and activity is on the foreground and on pass, on stop, on destroyed. So you will see on restart which means you have not closed the application but still it's in the runs in the background if you still want to open the application it will go to on restart and kill the process so these things we're going to see in detail in android studio we're going to use the same main activity for the lifecycle method we're going to override each lifecycle in the generator like uh, right click generate you will see the override methods basically the main activity superclass is app compact activity because that Main activity extends app compact activity, so we're going to get the those methods in the app compact. Then start. So on start. So which means uh, the first should be on create, which is already created. We don't have to create. I mean, you can't create. Uh, you can't create the duplicate. So let's go with on start. Yeah, here it will start. Uh, it will create like this, which means overwrite like this. So on create. So the similar way we have to overwrite other uh, lifecycle methods, which I already created. I'm going to replace it. So how to test this? How to test each uh, overwrites executor? So we can do. Uh, print statement like this being in the log you can see the log statement in the log cat so here is this okay. uh, oh. here's the thing we need a tag for that so let's create that Error. Question marks. Checks for the null. Question marks. You guys have to remember that. I'm going to write the statement. Little bit caps. To copy this, is it now there?
So once we launch the application, we're going to see what all this override methods are going to execute. First build and then run the application. So before that, uh, I just copy the same log function and uh, paste it in the on create because we, we have to see the on create uh, method execute. Okay, let's run the application. See that in the uh, some error occur. Because the Kotlin reflection implementation is not found with Kotlin. Yeah. Make sure you have a Kotlin reflection flaw in the class. So basically, uh, the application, the simple name which we created the for a tag, it's from the Java. So we're requesting the I mean Java Kotlin and with the simple name. So during runtime, it's not able to find the simple name. If you give the Java, it has the simple name. It's a written type as string. So now we build it in the run. Okay. Yeah, it's run. Sorry. So So when I launch the application, it's going to on create, on start, on resume. So on create is passed, on start, and on resume. So now the application is in the program. So when I Close the application like uh, so. This is the button. See, on post and on stop is executed. So, I am going to reopen the application by using not reopening, I'm going to close the application completely, which means kill the application. I'm going to run a uh, running application and uh, We are on. See on destroys. So again, I'm going to run the application. See on create, on start, on resume. The same same way I'm going to repeat it again. On pass, on stop. So to get the restart, so I'm going to keep running my applications and instead of clearing clear the all. I'm going to tap the same thing again. See, on restart. On restart game, again on start and on resume. So this is the life cycle. So when you kill the application, it's when to on destroy. When you not kill the application, again you want to run the same application. So it went to on restart on start from on stop to on restart and start and resume so basically uh, that way you uh, users might not affect or uh, lose the data 